age 80 for Harrison Ford. Jones, Indiana Mr. Solo. Deckard, Rick. The actor Harrison Ford, who celebrates 80 on July 13, is responsible for creating some of the most iconic characters in Hollywood history. He has starred in several Tiffany franchises, like Indiana Jones and Star Wars, as well as some B-plus series, including the Jack Ryan movies, making him one of the most popular movie stars of all time. Ford is also a skilled actor, and this success is due to the way he gives his characters a realistic context in even the most outlandish settings. Ford was the antithesis of the steroidal action heroes who disposed of their adversaries with cyborg-like efficiency in movies like Rambo, First Blood Part II, and Predator as he rose to the height of his fame in the 1980s. Ford's characters frequently perspired. They displayed their fright. Despite the fact that Indiana Jones may have triumphed, you could see with only one bad move that he knew. Ford was wise to switch things up as well. He became financially viable thanks to Indiana Jones and Star Wars, but he also used his influence to have edgier movies like The Mosquito Coast and Witness made. Naturally, there were some mistakes made along the road. Missed opportunities, including his foolish decision to decline parts in Traffic and Syrian, as well as money grabs that were undeserving of his talent, sorry, Firewall fans. Ford, though, has managed to keep audiences captivated throughout it all with an alchemical blend of charm, humanity, and heart, making him a true icon. When it was released in 2010, this romantic comedy starring Harrison Ford as a newscaster forced to advertise on morning TV quickly faded into obscurity. It's unfortunate because he's at his snarkiest best as a sardonic reporter who is oddly assigned to prepare for titles on morning television. Ford and Diane Keaton, who plays his goofy co-host, have the finest one-liners despite Rachel McAdams being the headliner. Even just hearing Ford tell Keaton off for getting a pap smear on video is worth the rental fee. Ford has built a successful acting career on portraying decent characters, so it's fascinating to see him go bad as a professor who is philandering and hiding a terrible secret. In this scene, the actor exposes the sordid side of a character who on the outside appears to be the ideal husband. It's unfortunate that Ford didn't switch up his heroic characters with a few more robust antagonists. Despite the fact that he apparently asked Martin Scorsese to cast him as Max Cady in Cape Fear, one of the biggest what-ifs in movie history. For his subtle performance as a detective compelled to hide out in Amish country with the family of a murder witness, Ford received his first and only Oscar nod. When the film debuted in 1985, it proved that Ford was a cinematic star and an actor. One is reminded of what a delicate, sensitive performance Ford can be under the right direction by seeing him as Detective John Book, who against his better judgment starts to let his guard down as he falls in love with the mother of an Amish boy. Later, in The Mosquito Coast, from 1986, he would work even more successfully with filmmaker Peter Weir. But we'll get to that. Another clever investigation of the Ford persona's shadowier sides. The actor plays a brilliant prosecutor in Presumed Innocent, who is tasked with looking into the death of a colleague who also happens to be his mistress. Although the unexpected ending is absurd, it is nothing short of riveting to see Ford explore every possibility before the big reveal. The summer of 1990 saw the release of the intense thriller Presumed Innocent, which is a testament to how much the film industry has changed in the following three decades. In a different period, Ford might have competed with Cary Grant for the role of the romantic comedy star. Melanie Griffith stars in Working Girl as a secretary aspiring to the executive suite, but Harry